I had some questions about this, so I just wanted to make a video over how I make gold watercolor paint. So I want to add this in really quickly. I'm not a professional paint maker. I'm just an artist who's gotten really into this as a hobby. And so I'm sure there's still a lot for me to learn about technique and ingredients, so please keep that in mind. What I can do is show you the process I've been going through to make gold paint that I've been using for the past few months. So technically, you only need two things to make watercolor paint. You need a binder and a pigment. The binder that I'm using is gum arabic, which I think is pretty standard. You can buy this either pre-made or you can make it yourself. There are additional ingredients you can add to make your paint perform a certain way. The ingredients that I add in are glycerin or honey to help the paints activate quickly, oxgall to aid in paint flow, and essential oil, which is mainly superficial for me. I originally bought clove oil to use as a preservative, and I didn't have the greatest luck with that, so I just continued to use different oils as scents. So firstly, whenever you do any kind of paint making, you absolutely have to wear a mask. And something thicker and more heavy duty than the paper mask they sell at the grocery, you also want to work in a well-ventilated area. Basically, the powdered pigments are very fine and they'll just like float around as you mix and you do not want to breathe that into your lungs. And if the pigment you're working with is a toxic one, it's a good idea to wear gloves as well. So to make watercolor paint, you need to make your binder. If you buy it pre-made, you can just skip this step. I use powdered because it's cheaper for me in the long run to just make it myself. So I mix in the water and gum arabic in a rough 2 to 1 ratio until it's dissolved. I usually do this in a separate container, and today I'm using this tiny jar. So once it's dissolved, at that point you can mix in your other add-ins. So a few drops of glycerin or oxgall or whatever it is you want to put into your recipe. Once the binder is ready, I start to make the paint. So different pigments are basically different substances and some more readily accept mixing than others. Some will just suck up the binder and some will just repel it. And so if you start really getting into this, you'll find you need to adjust your ratios to make a color work. For this gold, I basically try to just pack it with as much pigment as the binder will hold. So I start off with a one to one ratio of pigment to binder and then I mix it up. And then I'll just kind of add in more pigment to get the consistency that I want. But when it starts to move like molten metal, that's about when I know that it's ready. So I started making watercolor mainly to save money. Basically, I paint really big paintings, and so I was going through my pans pretty quickly. In the end, buying pigment and binder in bulk and mixing it myself ended up being cheaper for me in the long run. I know I wanted to make gold specifically so I could customize how opaque I wanted it to be and make really big pots of it. I would definitely recommend making your own paint if you're like me and use a lot, but not so much if you don't find yourself going through palettes very fast or if you're just beginning or if painting is just a hobby for you. So now I'm just going to leave you with these clips of me mixing paint and I'll show you what this looks like at the end. So once the paint is all mixed, I use a palette knife to pour them into pots. You can use plastic pans that fit into most paint palettes, or you can be creative and put them into other things. I use seashells, and today I'm going to fill this little vintage compact I got from a thrift store last year. So that's all. Just give these several days to dry before using them. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or a comment. And if you want to see more of these, click subscribe. Thanks guys.